so hi everyone. Welcome to another episode of、uh, Ancient Chinese History. This one is quite depressing, and it's also based on a true story. So this is the story of the、uh, Chinese eunuchs. And if you're wondering what、uh, eunuchs mean, it means a man that has gone through the castration process by having their、uh, penis and testicles removed. It is very extreme. So this、uh, didn't just happen in ancient China. This also happened、uh, during the Byzantine Empire and the Ottoman Empire. But in some other cases,、uh, the castration process only involves in、uh, removing both of the testicles, but not the actual penis itself. But in、uh, ancient China, this was the mandatory process to remove both testicles and the actual penis. Yes, this is a true story.、It、happened for over a thousand years, all the way until、uh, the end of the Empire system in the、uh, Qing Dynasty. So during the peak of the、uh, Eunuch era, this is in the Ming Dynasty, right before the Qing Dynasty. So the second last empire before the collapse of the Emperor system, there were over one million, yes, one million eunuchs served in China during the Ming Dynasty in、uh, over 250 years. It is just outrageous to think about everything that's happened in Chinese history: the wars, the famines, the diseases. And tens of millions of men getting castrated, the one-child policy. But China still got to 1.4 billion people today. So these are the actual tools on the right-hand side. As you can see, it's nothing fancy. So if someone、uh, is going to、uh, become a eunuch, they will come to the、uh, Forbidden City through the west entrance, and there they will meet with a,、uh, if you can call it, a medical professional. And before the procedure, they will lay down on a heated bed. And they will be asked one final question: Are you sure you want to do this? And once the decision is confirmed, you're conscious throughout the entire procedure. It happens very quickly. Basically, they pull up your penis, your balls, your testicles. One quick, smooth cut. So most people don't usually die during the procedure. It's what happens in the next few days that's critical. So afterwards, the、uh, urethra that's、uh, left over, it's usually covered up with a plug. I can't get into too much detail or show any sensitive photos. If you're interested, you can do some Google search. But it is、uh, very disturbing. I don't want this video to get flagged. And、uh, the patient has to keep on walking for the next usually two to three hours. Afterwards, they're not allowed to drink any water for the next、uh, 72 hours, and this is the critical period. Many people will die from dehydration during the next、uh, three days because your body will lose a lot of、uh, fluid from the castration process. And the newly made eunuchs are allowed to drink water once again after 72 days, and they will try to pee for the very first time. If they're successful, they're welcomed into the Forbidden City. But this is a very important but. If they are not able to pee after 72 hours, then it is one of the most painful and excruciating death imaginable. Actually, in fact, I can't even imagine it. This is what、uh, millions of men went through back in、uh, ancient China. Obviously, you will lose the, almost all your testosterone. You will lose your、uh, facial hair, your body hair. Your skin becomes very, very soft. You lose all your muscle mass, and、uh, your body becomes stripped in fat. And in many cases, many of these、uh, eunuchs will never fully develop. It's normal for a eunuch to be under five feet tall, and there will be a major voice change. Many of them could be 50, 60 years old. But they will sound like ten-year-old girls when they're talking. And one of the extreme side effects is the foul-smelling stench. It is said in ancient China that sometimes you can smell a eunuch from hundreds of yards away. This is mainly due to urinary issues following the、uh, castration process. And the picture on the left, that is the very final eunuch in China. He served the Empire Puyi all the way until the year of、uh, 1912. He passed away peacefully in the year of 1996. There are a lot of reasons why、uh, someone will become a eunuch, and it is、uh, extremely sad and depressing. Sometimes、uh, eunuchs are、uh, found at slave markets; they're auctioned off to、uh, the highest bidder. So many wealthy families and also the royal family in the Forbidden Kingdom will buy these eunuchs. They're mainly used to serve the concubines and the empress. And、uh, people that are close to the emperor itself. As I mentioned a few videos ago, it's normal for a Chinese emperor to have hundreds of wives, and any contact from the soldiers guarding the Forbidden City and the concubines are strictly prohibited. And the reasons are obvious: they are the wives of the emperor. So the eunuchs are basically the concubines' slave, 
and in some cases, uh, many of the these eunuchs they were abandoned as children. Either their parents died young. Like I said, this is the medieval times. It's normal for people to die between the ages of 30 to 40. Also, there was no contraceptives back in the day. There was no family planning, no birth control. So sometimes a family will have 15, 20 kids. There's no way to raise them all. So in many cases, they're sold into wealthy families. And also in some cases, it's voluntary. So at the very least, they will be provided food and shelter and some form of salary compensation. And the reason why I'm making this video is because the next video I want to share with you guys my experience in Thailand. Yes, this is true. And uh, I have to warn you guys, the people you see in uh, this picture, yes, they all used to be men. And I went to a couple of uh, sex shows in Thailand. An yeah, eye-opening experience. And uh, I'm going to share my Thailand story with you guys in the next video. Thank you so much.